Hello, we're going to be talking about the thyroid gland today. My name is Megan. I'm Chloe. And I'm Nicole. So today we're talking about the endocrine system and why it's so important. So the two main things we focused on were hormones and how they're going to be carrying messages to the rest of our body. And then also just about the control of bodily processes um, through the endocrine system. So the endocrine system is composed of organs called glands. And these glands are gonna be found throughout the body and they're gonna be secreting hormones throughout our body. So these hormones are gonna be vital for all of our functioning. Um, they're gonna carry messages throughout the organs, skin, muscles, and tissues. Um, and these messages are gonna help send signals throughout the body to perform certain functions when it means. And then continuous monitoring is gonna occur to ensure that messages are being adequately sent throughout the body. Um, and then these hormones will be found within the cells and relay messages within the cells. And the endocrine system also controls the majority of bodily processes related to coordinating body functions, metabolism, growth, mood, emotion, sleep, and proper development. So this is what the thyroid gland looks like and you can look at it in relation to the cartilage and then the two lobes, the right lobe and left lobe, right along with the trachea. The thyroid gland is located at the base of the neck, just below the Adam's apple. And there's two lobes um, on either side of the trachea, as Nicole said earlier, and it is like a butterfly shape. So then we have the importance. Um, so major functioning is metabolism, growth and development, energy, and then activation of the nervous system. So it's gonna help regulate a lot of bodily processes, as I had mentioned before. Um, and especially with energy, it's gonna control when we need it and when we don't. Um, and with the hormones, things can change when it comes to either cold weather and pregnancy and, like I said, growth. And um, increases in the thyroid hormones are going to create an increase in body temperature, um, a faster and stronger heartbeat. And um, they're also going to involve the nervous system and improve the concentration and going to provide faster reflexes. So the hormones involved in the thyroid are T3 and T4, and in case you guys are wondering, these are what the symbols look like for them. Um, there is also calcitonin that is produced. The thyroid hormone is a combination of T4 and T3. These two are grouped together because T4 is largely inactive, where T3 is active. And so once T4 is released, organs in your body transform it to T3, where it then impacts the cells. This is called deiodinization. And some of the hormone ro roles specifically are to regulate your energy. By doing this, we might have some weight gain, weight loss. They also work to speed up or slow down our heart rate, regulate an appropriate body temperature. It also works to um, regulate our digestion speed, so how fast food moves through our digestive tract. It might also impact some brain development, or muscle contractions, and lastly, it ha helps with some skin and bone maintenance. Calcitonin is another hormone that is released by the thyroid gland. It helps to regulate calcium levels in the blood to specifically decrease it. These um, C cells secrete calcitonin, and the hormone opposes the actions of the parathyroid, or too much of the calcium may result in weakening of the bones, kidney stones, and even um, some dysrhythmias in our heart. We have a quick video here to show what happens when uh, T3, T4, and calcitonin are released. And it's these follicle cells that produces the thyroid hormones. So the follicular cells produces the thyroid hormones. And there are two thyroid hormones, triiodothyronine, or T3, and thyroxine, T4. So two types, triiodothyronine, T3, and thyroxine, T4. The thyroid also produces calcitonin and other hormones, but we're not looking at, we're only looking at these two hormones. And what T3 and T4 do essentially, they, is that they increase the metabolic rate. So the next thing we're talking about is diseases of the thyroid, starting with goiter, which is an enlargement of the thyroid gland. So this has a lot of causes. It can be caused by other diseases, but mainly it's about iodine deficiency. Um, iodine is necessary for producing the thyroid hormone, so if we have an insufficiency of iodine, um, the hormone production is going to drop, and then that's going to lead to growth of the thyroid, which you can see the enlarged thyroid there. Some symptoms would be swelling in that area, um, we've got underactive and overactive symptoms, and then obstruction, 
So for some of the underactive symptoms, um, you could see like fatigue and tiredness, cold sensitivity, and then overactive. Um, you may see some muscle uh, weakness and sweating and weight loss. And then we have Hashimoto's disease, which is an attack of the immune system. So it's basically that the body is making antibodies that are attacking the thyroid. Um, and this can be caused by a lot of things, genetic factors, infection, inflammation. Um, some symptoms would be dry skin, joint pain, muscle aches, and hair loss. So patients who have thyroid tumors, hyperthyroidism, and thyroid nodules may have their thyroid removed, which is called a thyroid thyroidectomy. Um, there's two types. There's one where it is completely surgical and it's called traditional. That's the incision you see here in the front where they cut it out through the front. And then they also have scarless thyroidectomy, which they go through the mouth to remove it. Um, after the thyroid removal, a lot of patients will need to be put on hormonal supplements to replace those. Thyroid questions! Which of the following hormones is not secreted by the thyroid gland? Dopamine. What is the function of calcitonin in the body? It's to regulate calcium levels in the blood. Diseases related to the thyroid gland can be caused by which of the following? Overreactive, underreactive, thyroids, and nodule growth. The function of the thyroid includes which of these? Warming of the body and cold climate. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.